You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. Wow, can you believe it? 2022 already. Who would have thought? I don't know about you guys, but this last year flew by. And we are going to start 22 off with a bang. We are going to start a series called Crushing Your Limiting Beliefs. It's going to be a fresh start, fresh wipe. You're going to be able to listen to these next two episodes And it is going to bring you some clarity on what is holding you back from what you want. Big, small, indifferent family, business, life, goals, dreams, covers it all. And we are going to break this into two episodes because there is so much material to cover here. And I want to make sure that we go in a pace that you guys are going to be able to take notes, take points and apply them to what you're doing. We're going to do it here at the Productive Not Busy podcast team, and I can't wait to get started. So here we go. Hey, before we get the show started, I just want to say thanks to some of our sponsors. First of all, I'd like to thank Ohana Guitar Company. See, Ohana Guitar Company is a custom guitar shop with skillfully handcrafted guitars you've been looking for. Ohana features a full array of guitars from Customization set by your unique standards or traditional designs and features that you already know and love. Ohana Guitar Company uses classic tone woods for everything from the body throughout the neck and fretboard. Telecaster Stratocaster styles are also available in addition to skillfully handmade small batch one-of-a-kind guitars. You can visit them at www.ohanaguitarcompany.com and connect with them on Twitter and Instagram at Ohana Guitar Co. We're looking forward to making Ohana a part of your guitar family and our podcast family for a long time. So one of the first things I do when I start working with a new client is we kind of go through and do a debrief on what their hopes, dreams, ambitions are, where they're at now, where they've been, and see if we can piece together a map to get them to their destination. So basically, this first introduction is going to be what's holding you back. See, in my opinion, limiting beliefs are are conscious or subconscious beliefs that hold you back in some way. There are ideas that limit you. Thoughts that keep you from reaching your full potential. All of us have limiting beliefs, including myself. Sometimes these beliefs originate in our childhood. They're instilled in us by our parents or our friends or peer pressure. Other times, these beliefs are just results of some kind of trauma we experienced, right? Sometimes there's no obvious explanation for where these beliefs come from. If we're going to truly achieve our true potential, we must crush these, destroy the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. We must set ourselves free from lies and falsehoods that our mind and our inner critic make us believe, both about ourselves and about the world. So in my travels and in my engagements with entrepreneurs, big, small, famous, influencers, you name it, one of the first things that we hear, and these are based off of my notes, based off of talking to people, is their number one limiting belief is they don't have enough time. See, if you're like most people, you're extremely busy, especially business owners, working moms, working dads. You've got projects to work on, things to do around the house, people to spend time with, administrative tasks like paying the bills, cleaning the house, 
thousands of emails to answer. You're so busy that you feel like you don't have enough time to do the things that really matter. To focus on your dreams, to really achieve your goals. Your limiting belief is that there isn't enough time in the day to get things done. See, the best way to make this newfound empowering belief is to work on things that matter to you most first. That's the first thing you do in the day. By making quick progress on tasks that matter the most, I feel you'll be more productive and you'll slash this limiting belief. This principle is often called slaying your dragon. In other words, you slay your most important task or your biggest dragon first. Do that first thing in the morning. Your new beliefs become, there is plenty of time to do what matters because I work on what matters first. These are going to be short, right to the point. You're going to be able to rewind, retrace. So, limiting belief number two. This is a good one. I even went through this one when I started this podcast. I'm too old to start something new. With this limiting belief, you believe that in order to be successful, you need to start really early, really young. That the only way to truly achieve great things is to get started at a young age and work and work and work until you finally achieve greatness at an older age. See, your limiting belief is that you can't reach for new things. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? You feel like you've tried to start something new at this point in your life. You would probably fail. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to start a podcast. Maybe you want to take up a new hobby like snow skiing. See, but as you consider these things, you think to yourself, man, I'm too old for this. Oh, if I'd only started that earlier, if I'd only done this 10 years sooner. See, there are thousands of people who have achieved huge amounts of success later in life. There's a TV host who didn't start her career in show business until she was 40 years old. Doing some research, the designer Vera Wang didn't start designing clothes until she was 40. If they can do it, surely you can. So in order to rewrite your limiting belief, you need to realize that being older gives you more wisdom. You have more to offer. You have more experiences, more knowledge, a broader skill set, and you're basically more experienced. Younger people are prone to make more mistakes because they don't have the experiences that we have. This keeps them from achieving success as quickly as they might like to. See, your belief is, I'm never too old to start something new. I have the experience and wisdom to achieve anything I want, no matter how old I am. Next is limiting belief number three. Past failure means future failure. Oh, I've tried that. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, we already do that. Hear that a lot. So much I want to have a t-shirt made. Yeah, I know. If you've ever tried and failed at something in the past, it's easy to assume that your past failure means that you'll fail again and again and again in the future. That past outcomes guarantee future outcomes. That's crazy. Your limiting belief is that your past failure means future failure. And you assume that the past governs the future, which is ridiculous. That if something didn't work in previous attempts, it won't work in the future. God help us if some of our predecessors had done that. We wouldn't have some of the amazing inventions that we have now. The simple truth is that your past failures do not have any bearing on your current endeavor. Just because you failed in the past doesn't mean that you'll fail in the future. In fact, failure in the past is actually an advantage. Why? Because you've discovered one way that it doesn't work which means you can take that off your list and you can avoid that way moving forward. Super simple. That's why you need to document this stuff. You need to adopt a similar belief. You haven't failed in the past. You've simply discovered another particular way that it doesn't work. 
This has gotten you one step closer to your success. Now, number four, my past will always negatively influence my future. Maybe you've made mistakes in the past and you're convinced that you're going to keep making them over and over or that they're going to keep you from achieving success that you desire. Maybe you've tried things in the past that simply haven't worked. Maybe you don't have a good track record in that particular area. I've read articles and books from people that were incarcerated for major crimes that have turned their life around and turned it into a positive to help other people. See, your limiting belief is that your past holds sway over your future. You believe that your past actions restrict your future options or that your past efforts will hamper your future efforts. So you don't feel like you can try, try anything new. In fact, your past is one of the greatest assets. As you learn lessons from the past, it makes you that much wiser, makes you smarter. You have more knowledge, you have more skills, and you have more experience. Those are invaluable. So where does this take us? To the next limiting belief. My resources are limited. Okay, this limiting belief assumes that there are only a limited number of opportunities and resources and options available to you due to various other limiting beliefs or inner critics. Too old, I'm too young, I'm white, I'm black, I'm rich, I'm poor. See, it operates out of what is called a scarcity mentality, which is beliefs that there are only so many resources in the world that the most of these resources have already been taken up by other people. You think to yourself, I don't have enough time, money, connections, etc. to achieve what I want to achieve. Because you assume that you don't have enough resources and options, you fail to take action. The reality is that we live in an abundant universe that available to everybody that has more than enough to go around. There's no limit to the resources available if you simply start looking for them and opening yourself to receive them. Be a groundbreaker. Remember, windshield's huge. Tons of vision on where you can go. Small rearview mirror, just to glance back every once in a while, just to see where you've been or where people have told you you need to stay. But remember, it's on you to break out of that. This mindset is called an abundance mindset. Instead of believing that there are very few resources available, you believe that there is more than enough to go around and that you can get it wherever you want it, whenever you want it. And then you can accomplish whatever you want. See, your new belief is that the universe or whatever you believe in has everything that you need in order to achieve your biggest dreams and goals. You simply need to be open to all of that universe has to offer you. Focus on abundance. If that's what you want to receive. This brings us to the next limiting belief, number six. Lack of major progress means that you're failing. You feel that if you're not making significant progress every single second of every single day, that you're failing. Maybe you have a list of goals and expectations that you want to achieve and that that list haunts you. It's just a reminder an evil reminder of all that you haven't achieved. But see, be careful with that. Your limiting belief is that the lack of major progress on your goals and expectations means that you're a failure. See, you constantly criticize and berate yourself mentally for not achieving more. And then you want to give up. For not being more successful, for not accomplishing more faster. So... To me, in order to rewrite this belief, you must understand that even the smallest progress on your goals is a huge win. 
Small bits of progress on a consistent basis add up to huge wins. You may not be making huge amounts of progress on a daily basis, but that's okay. Your new belief becomes that any progress is a win. Big or small. Did you take one small step forward towards your expectation or your goal? Then that's a huge win. Even if you only do one thing per day or per week towards those goals and expectations, that's progress and should be celebrated. Don't judge yourself by whether you're making big jumps forward, but by the consistency. Ask Tiger Woods about that. So that's the end of part one. We're going to pick up the next episode. We'll pick up where this one left off. I really appreciate all of our sponsors, Ohana Guitar, the Jack's channel on YouTube. Really appreciate you guys following along with us, our listenership, our subscribers. We're in 29 countries. It's amazing. So if you would, please, if you're listening to this, take a second and subscribe. Make sure that if there's an opportunity to like the episode or review it, please do that. That would really help us. We're looking for a huge jump in 2022 so that we can be here to help you achieve anything and everything that you want to do. I'm deeply appreciative of all of you listening. You guys take care, be safe, say something nice to somebody. We'll see you next episode. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast with Coach Wayne. Join us next time for more money-making strategies to help you have less stress and more free time. Follow us on Facebook at Productive Not Busy, on Instagram, at frontline.coach.wayne and on Twitter at Wayne New Jr. And remember, be productive, not busy.